Just a quick little video to add a little bit more detail for the 2014 syllabus. You've already learned about diabetes, hopefully, and you've understood that there are two different types of diabetes that you can get, type 1 or type 2. One of them is lifestyle dependent, and the other one is something that you unfortunately inherit as an autoimmune disease. So some basics just to, to put it all onto one slide here. Type 1 diabetes often starts uh, during childhood. And if you understand that insulin is made by beta cells, it's the beta cells that actually get destroyed through this autoimmune disease. So your body actually kills these cells located in the islets of Langerhans in your pancreas and if those cells get destroyed then you aren't able to produce the insulin that you actually need so the treatment for this unfortunately is that you have to check your blood glucose level by yourself often and you have to give yourself insulin injections my grandma has this and uh, i know a lot of other people who have this as well too and they carry around a little blood glucose monitoring system to basically prick their finger to get a little bit of blood sample to be able to find out what their blood glucose level currently is so they can monitor it and make sure that they are uh, keeping their blood glucose levels within tolerable limits so they don't harm themselves so under normal circumstances what's supposed to happen is that once you take in some glucose either through um, an injection or iv or just from eating your blood glucose level is actually going to increase and as a result of that you can see that your blood insulin concentration also increases so they kind of go uh, hand in hand under normal circumstances but someone who is not able to make insulin by themselves, you're not going to see this kind of rise going along with your blood glucose actual levels there too. So type 2 diabetes is something that people get as a result of their diet usually from in ingesting and taking in too much glucose. I drink a little bit too much Coca-Cola and I've just been filling my inbox with all kinds of articles and things like that about the harm that can be done from intaking excess glucose and it just doesn't seem to be helping me but I need to do something about it because I'm starting to feel a little bit different. So type 2 diabetes usually after childhood it's the loss of insulin sensitivity basically. Um, it's like your cells are getting so used to such high blood glucose levels because you're constantly drinking coke and eating a bunch of sugary foods that your body starts to think that that's kind of a normal level and so it doesn't respond to it and so that's where the reduced sensitivity comes in and so you don't get as much insulin produced unless you actually fill it up with fill your body up with extra um, amounts of sugar which you don't want so the treatment for this is usually going to a low carb diet which is unfortunately something that people try to do for the wrong reason. Besides just taking in too much glucose, there are other risk factors that can increase your chances of developing type 2 diabetes. So some of these risk factors are eating too much fat, uh, not taking in enough fiber, uh, if you're obese, lack of exercise, and there could be other genetic factors in the ways that you metabolize fat. So some people may break down fat a little bit faster, some break it down a little bit slower. And so all of these factors can kind of combine to increase your chances of developing a type 2 diabetes, but definitely the intake of sugar is one of the main things that's going to actually affect you. So diabetes is a pretty big health issue nowadays, especially in certain parts of the world where people have lots of access to excess food and so there's lots of public service announcements like this that are basically trying to warn people about getting diabetes and even once you have it once you have diabetes how to keep your health in order so please use this as a public service announcement to take care of yourself and avoid drinking regular coca-cola this is a message that was not sponsored by the coca-cola company